We flew in last night yeah. to Chicago and we've left ourselves half a day to do some sightseeing. So where are we going, team? We're going to be going on the Amtrak California Zephyr from Chicago to San Francisco. So we wanted just to come down and see the bean and we yes. want to try and pack as much in in half a day because at two o'clock we get on a train for San Francisco. So here we have, we've got another large window here. We've lots of supplies. We've got lots of toilet rolls. I hope that's not a reflection on the meals they're gonna serve us team, that we need three <laughs> toilet rolls for two days. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look lots at all. Lots of little towels oh, here. Yeah. But the supplies are very generous. So there's four packs of soap and um, I don't know what, the hand soap. Hand soap. There's little uh, cups little for water. Cups. This, a and Kleenex, yeah. and another hand, hand, hand soap dispenser. And we're going to try our trick on this train of uh, putting the putting the uh, the plug down. Plug down while we're at night. Um, lots of handrails around, so if the train's rocking, it's going to be secure for us. But we've got a massive area for luggage here, which you wouldn't have in a normal cabin. And then coming over here, here's the sleeper berth. So there's one chair here. It's got uh, a nice pillow. And then there's another chair here facing, but you, your other window. So as Tina said, there's one north, one south facing window, which is very unique because we're the forward of the carriage here. And then there's the stairs to try and uh, get into the top bunk. There's another box of Kleenex down here. It's a bit dark. And here's the upper bunk that pulls down at night so yeah. that we get two beds. So, so far, it looks great. There's bottled water, complimentary. Our room attendant has just come to us yeah. and told us that if we go upstairs, there's a coffee station with coffee and uh, also additional bottled water. So we're not going to run short of uh, water on this trip. So what do you think, Tim? I think, I think it's looking great, Norm. It's, uh, it's a fantastic room. It um, is really. Oh, and the other thing I can just see down here, Norm, is we actually have a table, a yeah. little table in this room, which and we have And boarding was before. great. The, uh, the, Very simple. The Millennium Lounge, which is their sort of business class lounge, yeah. was just excellent. There was, it's on about three floors, three levels, mm -hmm. um, and lots of snacks available, packaged snacks, coffee, teas, soda, bottled water, um, we, we felt very well looked after. Yeah. And we had a great half day in Chicago. Oh, we did. We saw some fabulous sights, didn't we, Norm? And we've been looking with the weather team. Just beautiful, it's really hot. 80 degree day. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and we're going to be set, setting, I nearly said setting sail. Setting sail. What do you say on the train, Norm? Is it all aboard? I guess so. <laughs>
so far, team? I think it's just awesome, Norm. We've been on the train for about two and a half hours. Yeah, and uh, we've been up into the observation car, which was really nice. And I guess we're getting ready to have a first fresh air break. Yeah. OK, team, first stop at Galesburg. Wow, and it is incredibly hot, isn't it, Norm? It is, yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. So we're having a good time. We're just about to go for our dining car experience. Yeah. Um, and we're just having a stretch of our legs. So welcome to again. It's 6.30 and we decided to get an early start in the dining car as it opens at 6.30 for breakfast. I'm having scrambled eggs, sausage, potato and they throw a croissant as well, which I didn't ask for. And I'm going to have this special omelette which is full of vegetables and I'm going to have bacon on the side with a croissant. So after a hearty breakfast, we're going to navigate our way back to our room. These are the roomettes, which is in the first sleeper car, we're in the second sleeper car. And you can see one of the coffee stations there, Norm, on the left. Yeah, 24 hour coffee. Yeah. Then the bigger bedrooms are here, the sleeper class for bedrooms. So you can see their rooms are wider than the roomettes. And here we are coming up to go through from one carriage to the next through the doors. You just press the button. Gets a bit wobbly in yeah. the middle, so there are handrails. So these are the roomettes that are in our sleeper car. Yes. And here's our coffee station. And we have all the complimentary bottled water on top, which we pick one up every time we go past. We thought this was a great thing, yes. uh, complimentary water. And here we are going down the stairs. Because we're on the uh, lower level yeah. of the sleeper car. So here's the hallway to our room. Our room's at the end. It's a shower. And there are three restrooms just down here, which is very handy. And we also have one in our room. So we're back from breakfast. Gives us a chance to have a sit down, work out what we're going to do. But we're on the outskirts of Denver. Yeah, going past a really big cemetery here. So you do tend to see quite a different side. We were in the dome car coming into Denver. We thought it would be a great place to see the approach to the city. And here we are going past, I don't know, it's quite a lot of industrial um, buildings and things on the were. way in. And this is a, li a little river that's down by the side. We back into Denver, funnily enough, so it takes a bit of maneuvering. And here we are at Union Station in Denver. We arrived late, so we didn't have the chance to explore it. Leaving Union Station in Denver, passing by Coors Field, the Colorado Rockies baseball team ground. And going through the suburbs of Denver, getting ready for the Rocky Mountains.
We have been told that the scenery is just stunning leaving Denver. So here we are in the observation car and we are all ready. Wow. We're starting to gain altitude um, as we go into the Rockies, through the Rockies and over the Rockies. It's just beautiful scenery. Just gorgeous. Blue skies and a family of elk. Wow. Wonderful to see wildlife. Here's a windbreak that the rail company put up um, because the wind comes whipping off the mountain and buffets the uh, trains on this track. So this is a safety prevention. It's really neat, isn't it? So we've, we've got to almost 9,000 feet above sea level and so we're coming into the Moffat Tunnel which is one of the uh, engineering feats of this rail line. And our ears keep popping, don't they, Norm? They do, Tim. <laughs> the thing about the Moffat Tunnel is it's one of many on this track, but it's the longest. They ask us not to move around from rail car to rail car because of the diesel fumes that could enter into the cars. It's... So we all sat where we were told to. Yeah. And then we're out of the tunnel. Into the bright sunshine again. We are so lucky with the weather. Gorgeous. And, and just seeing some of these oh. mountain peaks, it's, it's just wonderful. Oh, and there's a lake down there. And then there's just rivers. beautiful. These are the headwaters oh. of the Colorado River. And then it's starting to feel like lunchtime, Tane. Wow. And we have decided to have lunch in our room. So we are going to order room service and have lunch in the cabin. And they will deliver all your meals to your room if you want to do that. But we just felt we'd like some private time. Yes. Where are we today? We are at Glenwood Springs. And this is another one of those exercise yeah. breaks <laughs> or a smoke break. Yeah, absolutely. Just about five minutes we've got to get some fresh air, which is great. And let's show, let us show you Glenwood Springs and our train. And there's the station over here. Oh, and there's a hotel there, no? And it is a big train.
Roseville, home to the largest rail yard on the West Coast. And it was the site of a historic explosion during the Vietnam War when uh, some rail cars exploded with ammunition. But just amazing amount of Union Pacific engines here. We've never ever seen anything quite like this on our trip from Chicago to Emeryville. No, they are really wonderful to look at, aren't they, Norm? Very colorful. Yeah. So now we're counting down the stations to uh, our final destination. This is Sacramento, and it's going to be the last fresh air break, smoke break. Um, and it's just wonderful seeing Sacramento. It is. And, you know, the main thing is um, we were here a long time ago, but now we're going to be able to say we have set foot in Sacramento, and it's really, really nice. And we did get a chance to see there's the old railway station building over there. Yeah. But we definitely have got the sense that this is the end of the trip. Yeah. Um, th there's only a few stations left. And we are really surprised because we are running at about 90 minutes late. And for a train that has gone such a huge distance, we think this is really good. We love this highway here. It's a divided highway and in the center section of Davis, California, they have some amazing blooming shrubs that hides the traffic eyesight. But just look at the blossoms on their team. We were found them just stunning, just beautiful to look at. Our anticipation is absolutely sky high to see the first water. Oh, and there it is, Norm. So we're crossing over, trying to get into Emeryville. It's, um, it's just been an amazing trip, and we hope our bus is going to be there to greet us. We've been guaranteed it will be. And here we are at the end of our trip. So thanks for joining us on this mammoth trip 